Hello, and welcome back to my Endless Space 2 guide, the all-encompassing guide for beginners, for people who want to buy the game and enjoy it, or people who have the game and can't enjoy it because they don't really know what's going on. Um, yeah, hope I didn't offend anyone, whatever. Um, today's guide is guide number 10, and the topic is going to be fleet composition and space battles. So here is the battle screen. Um, if you've ever fought a battle, you will have seen this. Uh, before I go into the meat and potatoes, I just want to say that there are a couple of buttons here that you have to work with. Minimize, self-explanatory, show location in case you ever lose the fight. Um, if you accidentally minimize it, like if you click outside the screen, it'll minimize and then you can lose it. Um, if you try next turn though, it'll bring it up, but you know, show location in case you ever need it. Oops, wrong button. Um, there's the watch button if you want to see some cinematics. Uh, there's the retreat button. Um, as you see in the description, if you retreat, you'll lose 60% of the max HP on all your ships. So if a ship is below, if they're at 59% max HP, when they retreat, they will die. So plan accordingly. Uh, you can get a free retreat, you know, essentially every time. Unless you have nowhere to go and then your ship will instantly be destroyed. So plan accordingly and then fight. Um, advanced. This is where I want to be. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. So... First of all, here, um, here is the screen where you kind of choose your tactics and it shows um, the trajectory of your ships. Um, up here, you have, sorry, actually, let me go back, let me go back a step. So, <clears throat> as you start in the game, I think you start with maybe four or five CP command points, uh, but as you progress and get more military tech, um, you will be given more command points to work with. I'm facing some pirates right now, they have 8, uh, that's their max, my max is 24, I have it filled to the brim. So as you get more command points, you unlock more flotillas to use. If I only have, you know, 3 command points being used, they'll only allow me to use one flotilla, and each one, each one of these is a flotilla. It's just a grouping of ships. Um, here, is where you can see the trajectory of your ships and all the different flotillas. Um, up here are your tactics. You start with three. You have a max of five. Um, five slots, that is. I think they give you five or six to start off with. And these three... I don't know about post-op. I think you get post-op. But these two are very good. I like them. You can keep them. I'll explain later why um, I prefer those. And, um, you know... You can take your own analysis from that. Um, here it shows just the general military strength. I'm not 100% sure of, on what this is based off of. I assume it's HP, uh, weapon damage, and protection. But, um, you know, it's just a general indicator. It doesn't always mean, like, with this I'll pretty much win no matter what I do. But if it was, you know, even if it was like, well, like 60%, let's say, in my favor, I might still lose. You know, or at least I'll lose enough ships where I'll consider it a loss. Uh, here it has the distribution of the weapon damage uh, to each type. So this is projectile, this is energy. If you watched my previous two videos, you will have seen that. Um, this is kind of... what's the word? This is not really like 100% accurate, meaning... Um, I could have, let's say, 5 projectile damage, and they can have 100, for instance. Now, 100 is not a lot, 5 is very minuscule, but 100 could be not a lot. Um, but because I have 5 and they have, a and they have 100, you know, it looks like they have a lot more than me. So, if I see this, I might be inclined to change the hull plating, even though almost all their damage is into energy. So, it's not a measure of how much there aren't numbers attached to this, you know, it's just based, it's just you compared to them. So don't put too much stock in it. Because I know when I first started, I always, like, I would just see this and I'd be like, oh, I have more, you know, if I was these guys, I'd be like, oh, I have more energy damage than them. But, you know, just play for yourself is what I'm trying to say. And lastly, a very important screen for me is the range efficiency. Um, so if you hover over each flotilla, you can see 85% compatibility, 89, 78. 
Um, and once again, it's represented your strength versus theirs. Or sorry, it's not actually strength. It's um, just compatibility, solely compatibility. So, uh, ba -ba -ba, actually, yes, medium. So medium, I'm at 78%. And theirs is a little bit better than mine. So they are, they are slightly more optimized than me for medium range. It doesn't mean that they are stronger than me. Um, it just means they're more optimized for it. So in an equal fight, you should put more stock into this, more weight. But, you know, when it's heavily swayed like this, don't give it too much thought. Uh, okay, so back to here, right? Back to here. Um, I always just choose the screen to pick my tactic. Uh, let's go. Let's go with just experience. So, <clears throat> good. So in my previous video, um, I talked briefly about labeling and why I label my ships in a very bland way. Well, now, when it comes to the space fight, I can hover over the ship. Each of these are my ships. The bigger ones are the CP3s. These ones only cost one CP. They're the tier ones. Um, so I just drag them over, click and drag, and drop them into the proper flotilla. So that's short, that's short, that's good. Let's balance that guy out. Let's move that. Let's put that guy right there. Let's put that guy there. There, there is a I think it's just because of this. Yeah, it's just because of the defense ship. It has 10% compatibility. That's a shame. Anyway, um, hmm. Actually, I'm learning something about my ship. I thought I designed it to be specifically long range, but it's medium actually. Anyway, I'll just leave it like that. Uh. Uh, so turn on the watch. Let's let's watch a cinematic battle. Ah, uh, minimize. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so let's go for the overview. Let's go. Skip, skip the action. Okay. <clears throat> so in this space battle screen. Um, I'd kind of, if you're losing fights, I'd recommend that you watch them uh, and just how they plan out, uh, play out because you can learn a little bit just based off what you're seeing. So over here, I have my flotillas. If I hover over them, I can see each individual ships. Uh, but that, uh, this one is flotilla three, so one, two, three. And then you see there's, they group them all into one. Um, and again, you can see the numbers. So when I hit the scan button, it shows the HP, so I can see now. Let's, yeah, so a salvo of missiles just hit, or something, or lasers, so they just took a bunch of damage in that scene there. Um, hmm. Uh, oop, breaking my game a little bit. Hello. There it is. Okay, so, these, it's kind of hard to see, but these lines here with the colors, those also describes the defenses that you have on each ship. Um... I'm trying to remember which one's good. Or is this offense? I think this is offense and this is defense, actually. I don't pay attention to this that much, so I'm actually not 100% sure. But you can see there each individual ship um, and how they're being targeted. This The support ship's being targeted, so it's doing its job. Okay, and the last little bit is I want to talk about tactics. So here I have 19 tactics available. There are my five slots. I was talking about this one's locked. I need to get another military tech to unlock that. Um, so if you just keep scrolling, you could see all the different things. It talks about um, when, you, when you equip the tactic and choose it, it will only allow two long range flotillas and one short range, two mediums, one short, oh sorry, two mediums, one long. Um, so that's just indicated at the top there in case you, so you can choose the tactic and then decide on how you want to organize your fleet. Uh, ba -ba -ba, here's all that. Oops. Misclicked. Um, <clears throat> so I just want to quickly talk about, um, my tactics, tactics I like. Um, okay. 
So post-op analysis, I mentioned that I like experience. I like being able to um, grind out certain fleets, and I like to keep them alive. So that's that's the key component. If you choose this and you go this route, you need to make sure that you're going to win, and that you're not going to lose any ships. Because if you choose this, and one of your five ships die, it's not really going to be worth it, because all the experience that you accumulated on that one ship goes out the window as well. Which is kind of the danger of using smaller ships as well, because those guys easily go down, and all the accumulated experience is gone. It's one of the downsides. Um, but aside from that, this is my personal preference, I really prefer um, defensive tactics. So, the plus 55% hull plating, there's no disadvantage that goes along with this. It's just straight bonus to the hull plating, very nice. Plus 75 shield absorption, but minus 10 damage on weapon modules. The minus 10 damage, you know, kind of sucks, but the plus 75 is very nice, especially if they focus mainly on energy. And I kind of use these two, and as well there's more, there's short range, where self explanatory plus 25 short range defense. Um, and there should be another one for long range, I don't know if I have that unlocked yet. There it is. Same idea. Um, so I like to use these tactics um, in conjunction with the plus 25 fleet experience, uh, extra experience. I keep these guys alive, they get a little bit of EXP, and then when the fight gets easy, I choose one of those and they get a lot of experience. So, that's just my preference. There are some nice attack um, tactics. Like, for instance, this one is pretty good. Uh, plus two plus two crew killed. Um, this one's very niche. You're going to want to use this when you're being invaded. Uh, you want to get rid of someone's ground forces, so you choose that. Um, but this is what I like. So by now, this is the end of the guide, by now you've probably realized that um, there's a lot I don't know, and this is still a learning process for me, I'm just trying to share as much as I can. So if you have any fact checking for me, if I've said something that's incorrect, if you have, you know, the knowledge and you, you know, it's, if you gain some experience and you know, it's like from a reliable source, it's not just something you heard somewhere, it's something that like, you know, can be confirmed, then you know. I'd like to take that into consideration because there's a lot I don't know like about the AI targeting I'm still unsure about that I don't know how that one works and um, yeah just any other information I might have missed in any of my guides really just let me know please I, I would love to add them in later put them in another video or just you know just to understand it for myself